Hello students, good day. I'm teacher Alvin and I will be your teacher for today's online class. Today, I'll be teaching science. Let's start first with our vocabulary. Let's start with our first vocabulary. It's the word assess. 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 Now, let's spell the word assess. It's A S S E S S. Assess. Very good. Our second vocabulary word is check. 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 Now, Let's spell the word check. It's C H E C K. Check. Great job. And our third vocabulary word is wrong. 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 Now, let's spell the word wrong. It's W R O N G. Wrong. Let's also watch your documentary. Beautiful Birds. Part 1. One, McCall. M A C A W. McCall. Vocabulary. Beak. Agile. Grasp Things The macaw is a member of the parrot family. It has a large, strong, curved beak. It has strong, Agile toes that are used like hands to grasp things. Now, let's proceed to our review for us to recall our topics. And our topic is living things and their environment. So for today's topic, we will going to tackle the environment of a plant and the environment of a human being. Let's start first with the environment of a plant. So here's the picture of an environment of a plant. As you can see, it includes those biotic and abiotic factors that influence growth and development of forages. But what is biotic and abiotic factors? For us to understand our topic, let's define also biotic and abiotic factors. Let's define first what is biotic factors. A biotic factor is any living things that has an effect on an ecosystem. Again, a biotic factor is any living thing that has an effect on an ecosystem. So let's go back to the picture of the environment of a plant. So in this picture, 
can you identify what are the biotic factors in the pictures? So biotic factors are living things. So what are those living things? Living things has life. Can you identify one example of a biotic factor in the picture? If you answered animals, your answer is correct. So what are those animals in the pictures? So we have turtles, beavers, deer, and even bears. Those are the biotic factors. Now, let's proceed to abiotic factors. Abiotic factors are a non-living condition or thing as climate or habitat that influences or affects an ecosystem and the organisms in it. So let's go back to the picture of the environment of a plant. So what are the abiotic factors in this picture? Abiotic factors are non-living things or climate. Can you give one example of abiotic factors in this picture? If you answered water, your answer is correct. The other examples of abiotic factors are we have your sunlight, soil, temperature, and even rocks like minerals. Now, let's discuss also the environment of a human being. So here's the picture of the environment of a human being. Let's identify also what are the biotics and abiotics in human environment. Let's start with biotics. What are the biotic factors here in the picture? Biotic factors are living things. Can you give an example? If you answered birds, you are correct. Because birds are animals and animals are living things. Next, let's identify abiotic factors here in the picture. Can you give an example of an abiotic factors here in our picture? Remember that abiotic factor is a non-living thing. If your answer is the car, your answer is correct. Because car is a non-living thing. We also have other examples like rainbows, clouds, bicycles, mountains, the sky, and even the house. Those are abiotic factors because they are non-living things. Our topic for today is light can change the way plants grow. Do you know where the plants get their light from? Do you have any idea where do plants get their light from? If your answer is from the sun, your answer is correct. Because the sun is the one that produces heat and light to the earth. And that heat and light from the sun is very important to all of the living things especially to the plants because plants need sunlight to produce their own food and what we call this process again do you still remember yes it is photosynthesis 
they collect sunlight, water, and air to make their own food. Because without sun, no one will going to produce heat and light. And most of the living things will going to die. Just like plants. Plants need sunlight to make their own food. And if they can't make their own food, they're going to die. So sunlight is very important to all of the living things. For Let's wrap up our topic for today. Question number one. Why sunlight is important to plants? Sunlight is essential to plants because they use sunlight in making their own food. Question number two. What will going to happen if plants don't have sunlight? The plants were going to die if the plants don't have sunlight. Question number three. Where do plants get the sunlight? Plants get their sunlight from the sun because sun produces heat and light. And our topic for today is the benefits of plants and animals. People and animals need plants because if there is no plants, people and animals will die. People and animals need plants for food. If there are no plants, then there are no animals. If there are no plants and no animals, then people have no food and die. So this is a simple illustration of the importance of plants to animals and people. Because we all know that people eat animals. Can you still remember those animals that people can eat? Just like our examples here, we have pig, cow, and chicken. People also eat some plants just like your vegetables and fruits and animals also eat some plants like grass bushes even fruits and vegetables plants give us oxygen because plants inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. While people and animals inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide. So if there are no plants, then people and animals have no oxygen and will die plants are very important to people because people need plants to make houses furnitures and papers here are some examples of furnitures that we can make using plants we have tables, chairs, cabinets, and even bed frame. Now, let's do some wrap-ups. Number 1. What type of air does 
people inhale? The answer is it's oxygen. Number two. It's a type of air that people and animals give back or exhale. The answer is carbon dioxide. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new today. And please don't forget to wear your mask regularly and wash your hands often. Stay safe. And again, this is Teacher Alvin. And see you soon. Bye!